Greetings, it's the 23rd of September 2019. My name is Andrew Michael Hockett. Just sharing uh, some thoughts and uh, considerations about the current political climate, climate in the UK. And coming from the uh, perspective of a, a born again believer in the Lord Jesus Christ and the Word of God and, and having faithfully received that uh, free gift forgiveness of sins and eternal life through the faithful promise of God the Father, God the Son and God the Holy Spirit who died to save me, who died to save all sinners, which I am unworthy to receive but through the um, appropriation of placing my faith and calling upon, calling up, seeking the Father, seeking the Lord, seeking forgiveness, um, having received it at the moment I believed the moment I applied my heart to seek the living God, that's when I found him, that's when he faithfully answered, that's when I received the witness that is true, and I grew in the word through faith in that which I'd received at the beginning. And I'm simply sharing that. And I'd like to offer the invitation to all, all people, all sinners, doesn't matter who you are, Jesus died for you personally. He, he suffered your sins, he suffered the world's sins, that you would receive his love, his gift, his purpose, his life, his heart, his mind, his spirit, while you remain a sinner, while you remain in sin and you can't help yourself. To receive the faithful promise of eternal life, now, forever, and to faithfully come, in the one who did come, the one who is, and the one who will come, and the one who has given us his faithful word and promise, and you can know that that's true. If that's not believed, that will not be received, and you will remain lost, you will remain in ignorance, and you will not know the purpose of life. You will not see the blackness from the whiteness. You will see grey and confusion, and you will be um, led around by merchandising powers of this world. You will believe a lie, and you will lose your soul and be drawn into captivity, and will turmoil and the outpouring of God's wrath, allowing the wicked to um, um, exercise the plan of uh, the absence of God in, in the human race and it will it will imply that it will collapse, it will come to naught and they will say peace, peace, you know, we've finally got real peace. Well these um, these peace moves in the, if you look at the world yeah, currently these the, these peace moves have been going on generationally. And when you study history carefully, you see the same uh, conspiring powers to uh, rob all nations of their independence and freedom, and their just laws to govern themselves independently and freely. Um, I just want to uh, share some observations I've noticed about the current hypocrisy and doublespeak on, that's just been propagated on the TV and by the mainstream media in the UK on this Brexit and the you know, the law and all the cries, oh, the law can't jurisdict against the House of Commons, and we're getting all this deliberation and wait for this result, and we've got the players, we've got the No Deal and the rebels against the um, what was voted. And we've had the rollout on TV of the Cameron years and interviews with uh, David Kraft Cameron, the uh, previous uh, Prime Minister of the UK uh, um, before Theresa May. And she kicked the can and uh, spun a lie. She never faithfully saw through what was the British public voted for. Having watched the uh, David Cameron and the uh, original footage of what was presented uh, in the referendum to leave the EU, it was unequivocally leave without a deal. That was David Cameron's words. He never, it, that has never been focused on. As soon as that's brought up, the uh, tensions uh, drawn on to debate, dismissing the original um, truth. So we got the um, Supreme Court, and we've had this division in uh, the Scottish Supreme Court and the other courts, and now the Supreme Court is finally deliberating on on whether it should, whether it will make a judgment or whether it should make a judgment and you've got all these political opinions saying well the law's not, 
shouldn't interfere with the Commons, but it, it seems that the House of Commons is um, in this stalemate and it's become a law unto itself. And anyone who is um, trying to do the right thing is, is, is a scapegoat, is screamed at. So I wonder with um, Prime Minister Johnson if, if, if he's just playing a role or if he's being used to play a role. But um, the unequivocal truth is that uh, what was presented to the uh, British public was to leave the EU without a deal, completely break free, divorce. That was his words. Not exactly his words, but the sentiments of his words. Deal with nothing, leave, divorce, separate. Regardless of the consequences, there was never discussion. It was leave without a deal or remain. And the uh, British public voted to leave. And then, and then the political media, then, then, then the winds, and then the machination started to um, edge through through the uh, rebels in the parliament, and the people who were sour grapes, who didn't, who wanted to remain. And then it was a full out assault on stalling the inevitable and coming up with all these um, uh, wishy washy. Oh, we need a deal. Blah blah blah. blah. And uh, then it was kicked up, the can, the can was kicked up the road by Theresa May's um, government and all the surrounding powers against whatever, you know, her, tension, her intentions, right or wrong, whether that was deliberate or whether it was just, just the uh, conglomeration of all the um, poor behaviour of uh, politicians um, trying to get their own way. <coughs> So that was one of my observations uh, recently, <clears throat> watching the um, unfolding of this, you know, keeping the country slopping around in this pool of sick, and then, and, and then, then we had this um, political focus on the uh, Extinction Rebellion movement, and I just want to bring that into the equation, and, and look at the symbology on the symbols, and. Uh, and rallying and planting the cells to lead lead the movement and rally the public into this uh, extinction rebellion. Oh, we've got all that now. We've all got to come together. Well, that's all well and good, and it, and it's right that we should care for our environment. We could, we've all got a responsibility to this world and one another. Um, but the if you if you really are honest and you you want to know the truth and you seek the truth, you'll find. What, what's at play here and um, we see in this wind that the, the sponsors behind this are globalists who want to create this uh, peace movement you know all come together as one there's all political winds behind this and, and my guess is this is from Rome just like the opposition against Brexit it's all coming from the machinations in the heart of the, of the Roman dominance of the, of the powers that dominate this world against people's freedom, people's independence. <clears throat> and this Extinction Rebellion, in my opinion, it is, um, um, these are behind it, you know, the devil's behind it all, but he works through evil. And even if we do get out, even if Great Britain is out of Brexit, um, these same powers will still do everything they can to undermine what was done and get us back into the European Union. That, that, that's the nature of evil. That's the nature of these, these wicked people who are cunning. They kill in the name of their own God and their own belief and their own religion. And they will cheat to get their own way. And um, when what's right's been chosen for, you see all these hands coming out, left, right, centre, all against that, the plane of the truth that we voted, that the country voted, that Great Britain voted to leave the EU without a deal, to leave, to divorce, not to remain in, half in and half out, but to leave. But, but the House of Commons, the majority in the House of Commons don't want that. They don't want to see through what they voted because they're compromised, they're too frightened of all the powers that compromise them support this um, transgender, homosexual, free rights and this globalistic one world uh, movement that we're better off as uh, one, one body. Um, all these lies, all these uh, distortions of truth. Um, the truth is we can be independent, still be friends with our neighbours and still be uh, 
join together if we need to, but, but the truth remains that these machinations are historic. And uh, I just want to invite people just to study uh, the history, uh, British English history, our, our, our political history, the powers in Europe. This, this, is, this has been repeated throughout history so many times. Um, if you go to uh, study, I think it's uh, 1815, the Congress of Vienna, you see after the battle, of, and when you, when you study these uh, wars and the politics and the machinations behind these movements, behind these world players, Napoleon, Wellington, and all their associates, you see these machinations manifest and these people either compromised or used in this uh, staging, this theatre of evil. The devil was the orchestrator of these, uh, these devices, but they are propagated by, by individual choice, whether that's um, calculated or just by bad, bad choices, compromise, people being compromised into making a choice that they don't want to make, so they compromise what they do want to make into, to appease the dominance, the predominance of the, the holding of the arm behind your back. Uh, that's, what, that's what it appears to me, that we've got our arm behind our back and we're being told that we have to swallow this, whatever we're, um, uh, it's decided on our behalf for us and it will be, uh, it has to be sold out in the lie because it can't openly come out and say, you, you know, we're dominant, you're going to do what you're told. It's got to cheat, it's got to lie, it's got to deceive, it's got to lead uh, people into captivity. And the way to lead people into captivity is by lies and those lives being taken up in their hearts and followed. And uh, um, I'm looking at this rebellion movement and the uh, the, man, the, the heart is it is to bring bring the world into captivity and blame and put all the responsibility on the individual. And you get all these people saying, oh, it's my generation's fault that's caused all this. Well, no, the people who've caused this are the people who dominate the world powers, cause all this global destruction, and then point, lead us into this way of living, and then they call out us as being the um, components. Well, we have, we have a, a responsibility for accepting what we're given, but the main damage to the world and the environment is corporate powers and uh, people, if you look at all the um, uh, technology and weapons um, and what's being used, what's already been documented of being used, the uh, changing of the weather, the hole in the ozone was being admitted to by scientists that it was blown open by harp and that it repaired itself and you've got all this CO2 and all, and all these lies and misinformation, half truths spun out to bring the world into this collective. We all got a rally together. It's a crisis. Well, the world is never going to be put right. Um, if you if you study um, the Word of God, if you if you believe, you will see the truth, and you see the Word of God that these things are going to repeat, and they're going to repeat, and there's going to there's going to be a point where it reaches a peak. And the world's, the world's going to come to an end. It's going to tear itself apart. The sea's going to heave beyond its bounds. The heavens are going to rip over. There's going to be wars. There's going to be technology that uh, can cook a whole field and uh, just destroy it, can uh, heat up the ground, can heat up the earth, can cause earthquakes, can cause tidal waves, can cause hurricanes, can cause nice weather, can cause bad weather. This technology is used by powers to create this problem and then to pin the problem on the back of the public, burden them, tax them, bring them into captivity, bring them into the globalistic law, the state laws that are trying to dominate the just, just laws of every independent nation on this planet. Uh, if you study the Congress of Vienna, 1815, look at the machinations of the Pope, the corporate powers of Rome, all against uh, liberty and freedom of the You can unite nations and still remain you independent, but it's all the, a false rhetoric. Uh, we need to be, you know, we're stronger all together and all these lies, and it's a free trade. It's, um, it's, it's controlled trade, and all the people who don't want to trade in that um, conglomeracy are cut out. So it's not free trade, it's regulated, dominated trade. 
and you have to be a member. So whatever your argument is on Europe, and whether you know whether that whether you understand that whatever you choose is not really going to remedy the the actual problem. The, the problem remains, and the, and the problem is in us. It's sin, and it's in the world. It's predominant in the world, and sin will have uh, be. It's fruitful. The tree of sin will bring it brings forth fruit, brings forth judgment, brings forth suffering, bring brings forth iniquity and injustice and foul play and then retaliation and more problems. It, it's a sinful world. The whole world's under condemnation and the whole world needs a saviour. It needs the saviour. It needs the word of God, the truth. To change that nature from the inside out. Because mankind can't change its own nature, it's corrupt. So any any efforts will be corrupt, be founded on corruption. If you ask anybody in this in this world, what is the purpose of life? You'll get the same answer, I don't know, we don't know. Oh, what is it? Well, it, it simply, the purpose of life is, is, is available for every individual to know personally. The purpose of life is love, is God. It's God's purpose, God's heart, God's mind, God's will, God's son, God's way. And that way it was um, manifest in the flesh. That was God in the flesh, in Jesus Christ, in the man, the holy man. He took upon the, the mortal flesh with the frailties of the flesh and he was sinless and he overcome all sin and he was crucified for it being innocent and holy and that paid for all sins because he's eternal so his death was eternal he gave up his life and took it up again in the grave and was resurrected the third day so that holy God remained holy but he put off all sin he took all sin upon himself and put it all off for us and the only uh, way to be exonerated from all the sin and have a change of your own sinful nature is through that holiness, through that uh, gift, through God, through the appropriation of what God has completed on the cross, his finished work, it's done. And he intercedes today, he's the same today as he was yesterday. He's eternally holy, eternally God, and he's outstretched, and he died for all sinners that they may be saved. That's the remedy to our problems. The world is not, is not, it is going to be extinct. It's going to, there's going to be um, the outpouring of wrath and judgment because all these people believe liars. They don't seek the truth and they lack the knowledge and they lack the belief of where to believe that these evil people lie. They, they can't get over it. Oh, these things don't happen. There's no such thing as conspiracy. But there is conspiracy truth and there's consp conspiracy theory. It doesn't mean theories are not true, it just means that they're theory. They're either theory or fact. There's many conspiracy facts. The whole fact that the whole world's conspiring in its nature. It, 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 all men lie. All men, all good people are capable of doing evil. Um, all, 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 you look at World War II, how passive men were deprogrammed, broken and, and raised killers in the name of a, a good cause, you know, a fermented cause, a just cause for wickedness. So comes war. So um, people can change and people are sinful by their nature. Good people can do really horrible things, you know, good, good intended people can do wicked things because we're sinful by nature and that's what we remain, sinful. And that's the only remedy to our world's problems for our government, for our royal family, for their houses, for all, all the House of Lords, all the House of Commons, all these individuals know of the Gospel and everybody has an opportunity, bond or free, um, public or those in honourable seats and powers. Uh, the Lord is outstretched to save all sinners. He died to save all sinners. If you're a sinner, you desire to know the Lord and to be forgiven of your sins and to receive that forgiveness, that blessing, that grace and that knowledge and that joy. All you need to do is seek, seek the Lord through faith and trust and believe and you will receive. So I wanted to share those observations of the world and, and, and what I see. I just see it as, as, as it is. I don't see clearly. I don't have all the knowledge. But um, I have I have the knowledge, I have the foundation and meaning of all understanding. The fear of God is beginning of wisdom. The 
The fear of God is the beginning of understanding. It's the foundation of life. If you're not on the foundation, you're you're on the sand, and your every every decision and every action and choice and thought you have is unfounded, and you're in error. Until you're founded on the the established rock and the word and the truth and knowledge of God, you can't make a just measurement. You're you're in unbelief, and you'll make make a a biased measurement, and you will remain either on one side or the other, and you will not see the good in in the world and where that good is offered from and you won't see the corruption in yourself or in others you will just focus on trying to put it right it cannot be put right everybody needs a change from within before there's an outward change in the world you need to be born again you need to be born by God's grace and spirit before you put the world will be, will be changed into a better place and because people will reject God like God knows God knew that his own people would reject him and many would perish. God didn't want the Jews to be scattered and persecuted. He loved the Jews and he, he, he was outstretched. And the Jews remained cut off. He, he never justified the persecution of the Jews. It's just a consequence of their, their being left without God and the world powers, the world dominant um, Gentile powers would uh, destroy the Jews. Um, the problem, you, you've heard the Nazis say the Jewish problem. This is the Jewish problem at heart. The, the Jewish problem is a testimony of, of the reality of God the Father, His Holy Word, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. And, and the faithful um, word in the prophets, in the priests, in the kings of the Old Testament, and in the New Testament. Um, the Jews testify the existence of uh, God the Father, uh, the eternal God, uh, and God the Word, God the Holy, Holy Spirit, and the truth that God revealed to the prophets. So the Jews are a testament of, the, of God, the existence of God, the existence of the devil, and the existence of sin. Although the Jews rejected their Messiah and were cut off, that's why they're persecuted because they still remain God's people and the devil. And that's another thing people don't believe. They don't believe that the devil exists. That's his biggest lie. And he has hold over people. He has hold over their hearts. He, he stirs people up against the Jews because the Jews is um, against, you know, what the Jews represent is God's people. And Satan doesn't like that because it's a testimony of of, of the reality of God, the reality of Jesus Christ, even though the Jews don't believe that many, many faithful, Abraham believed in Jesus, Moses believed in Jesus, David believed in Jesus, they all testified. It was only the Jews of the day, the apost because of apostasy, they rejected the Messiah. Not all of the Jews, but a uh, majority of the nation and the authorities under the Roman captivity and bondage rejected their Messiah and were scattered and they, were, they rejected the remedy to their problems and so the world scattered them and persecuted them. Jesus suffered this, he loved them as outstretched as he is today to all Jew and Gentile. So the world's not going to be a better place and that's the problem we have with anti-Semitism. The, the Jews have always, had, always been used and had a, bad, had a bad label, punch me, stuck on their back. There's always been uh, things done in the Jews' name Jews have even been compromised to, be, to do bad things, forced or blackmailed or threatened and put into a position to do something bad or cultivated to react badly to a situation which is uh, planned to happen to them but they, they don't see it happen, they just walk into a pitfall and these things happen and then, then, a, then, a late, then, then the machination points out it's the Jews it's the Jews and then you're given some half truth. What the Jews actually do is they, they, they convict all, all the world powers of, again, that's against righteousness. Even though they rejected Jesus Christ, even though they, they did not reject the, um, the living God, they just rejected that Jesus was um, the Son and the Word of the living God. They rejected God by rejecting his son 
and unfortunately for the consequences that the God's powerless to help them, he's bound. So they were scattered to the four winds of the world and persecuted in the name of Christianity by the Roman powers and also by the um, evil powers and seed of the and, and the, the evil seed, the, the Solomite, the, the Nazi, Nazi route that, um, that was in Hitler, that was in, in the Jesuits, that was in the Third Reich, which came, came from the heart of Jesuit, Jesuitism, which come from the heart of Babylonianism, the old Babylonian pagan world order, which is Rome, which is the Roman Catholic Church. That's what's masked behind the cloak of Christianity, uh, the popes, the Antichrist, and Antichrist. And that's where the power of the Antichrist will come from the from the dominance and the, the, the seed of that, that false prophet, the Pope, who claims to be in Christ's stead. He's an Antichrist, he's a blasphemous, a living entity of blasphemy, a living blasphemy against the uh, finished work of Jesus Christ on the cross. He denies he denies God and claims to be in his place, in his stead. And the, the only way to salvation is through the mother church, the mother of harlots, which is where all this dominance. This is, this is what kills in the name of God and in the name of the Jews and pins it on the Jews. This is the conspiracy of Satan working through these evil, corporate, paganistic hearts of mankind who claim to be righteous, claim to be noble, claim to be Christian. They are far from it. They are the most wicked, degenerate, sodomite bunch that's ever uh, graced this planet. And uh, I'm not saying that's all Catholics, but that, that's the core majority of the evil branch within these uh, predominant, that predominates in this uh, body of people. It's in their hearts, it's in the scriptures. You cannot deny what the word of God has revealed. You may not be able to uh, pinpoint where it's coming from, but you can see the fruits. By the fruits you shall know. If it's good, you know it's good. If it's evil and a lie, you'll be confused. There'll be what? Why isn't it the, why isn't the obvious being done? Well, why? Why is that which is so obvious never being done? It's always come up with an excuse or a justification. This is the corporate conspiracy against uh, all the world powers. So I just invite you to do some history to understand the evil powers at work. This is about souls. It's about good and evil. It's about belief and unbelief. It's about receiving your um, salvation through the Lord Jesus Christ and the forgiveness of sins and, and the free gift of eternal life or not and perishing in your sin and which will lead to uh, the outpouring of God's wrath. The Lord said flee from the wrath to come and believers have flee from the wrath to come they've been delivered and saved and they will not pass through that, that judgment, they will not pass through the world's judgment and outpouring where the uh, book of, where it was revealed in the book of Revelation, the great tribulation period, the seven years of uh, problems and, you know, uh, peace and then problems and then the fulfilling of that uh, end times, that uh, Armageddon, the collapse of the world and the dominance of the world gathering around Jerusalem, gathering around Israel to finally wipe them off the map in the name of, in the name of world peace. It's a lie, it's of the devil, and it's been revealed in the Word of God. And I'll leave those thoughts for you to consider, to, um, to investigate for yourself, for your soul, for your life. It's your life. Your salvation's been dispensed, and it's yours to receive freely, as I've received it, and many Christians have. Or it's yours to reject and lose. It's your choice. Christians won't hold a gun to your head. They simply invite you to believe or not and um, pray that you do, but they will not force you or compel you, they will just try and convince you. And um, it's down to the individual to, 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 to repent, to have a change of mind and seek the living God themselves and the promise that God is faithful and he answers the promise of the faithful, he cannot deny himself. But he won't answer unbelief or doubt, he, he, he requires sincere belief and faith and trust and then he's um, bound to answer and he will answer and the world will continue in sin it will continue the, these problems will edge you know edge forward i can't say exactly when uh, things are going to 
going wrong. I couldn't tell you what's going to happen any any time soon. I can just see what is and which has been, and I can roughly work out what's coming. And because I trust the Word of God and I have the fullness and the revelation revealed of the outcome of the human race, I I know where roughly what where we are in the map and where we're heading. And uh, so that's my invitation for you to check history, examine these things, seek out that which is against evil and the, and the corporate powers and all the people involved. It's historically there for you to find the, um, the lies regarding the Jews and, and where that comes from and the author of that. And I'm not saying all Jews behave. Um, honestly, there's many half-Jewish bloodlines who've been um, cultivated to do bad things under the control of the powers that now nourish them and steer them into into a deception and uh, and then to point the finger at them and say oh they're Jewish you know it's a Jewish conspiracy the conspiracies of Satan it's of the dominant powers in this world are, are are Gentile they are pagan and they are predominantly um, as they were in Christ's time, the same powers are predominant over the Jews. The Jews are a minority, and they're, they give it, they're always given the bad rap. And um, at times they have to, you know, they got their backs in the corner and, and, and they, they fight dirt with dirt, or cunning with cunning, because they're amongst cunning world dominance, and they've had to survive being persecuted for generations. So it's not, it's not the Jews. It's the um, the main the main proponent of, of Satan's church is the uh, predominant powers in Rome, the the Gentile powers, the old pagan powers, the old world, the old order, all the um, Gnosticism and the mysticism, all these New Age isms and all homosexual transgender movement, all comes from this body of evil. And if you're honest, you'll see that you'll see that. What, what that's against. If you receive the truth, you'll see all that's against the truth by the truth that you've received, by the light. Because light isn't hidden in the darkness, it's honest. Only lies and deception is done in darkness. You're not told openly what the plans are for your future. You're lied. They don't come out and tell you, otherwise you wouldn't agree to it. So the, the darkness won't come to the light and be, be healed. If you receive the light, you'll see the world in the light and by the light. You might not fully understand it, but, but you'll have the light and testimony of the knowledge of God and you'll be founded, you'll be on the rock, he put you on the rock, and you will see the truth as it really is. As things are, as things were, and things will be, they rem truth remains truthful, error remains in error. You know, confusion remains confused, division remains divided, but the truth is... Uh, is true and consistent and uh, it's, of, it's of heaven, it's of God, it's not of our nature, our nature's fallen. We've been created by a good creator, given the choice to do good and evil, but our nature is predominantly, inherently evil to, to be, to choose evil, it's prone to evil because it's got evil in it through disobedience to God and the fall of mankind and the inheritance of sin and the uh, propagation of that sin in the human race. Hence why Jesus came to be the remedy for all mankind and he came in that time that all may, may be saved in their lifetime, in their day, by an eternal God who died in time but his uh, grace is eternal, it's uh, active on a daily basis. Once, it, once that um, uh, cross was, um, that work was finished by Jesus, that, that what he done in the grave and coming up out of the grave and restoring his life, his eternal life, is in operation today and putting off sins in the, in the ground, in the grave and death and coming up like living as he was living, as he is living and as that life can be received, as that light can be received. Once that's received, that person will know that light, walk in that light and see the darkness for what it is, they'll see sin for what it is and they see that all that is against it. That's my invitation. These are my observations of our current climate in the world. And I, I just uh, encourage people to study history, study King James, study Oliver Cromwell, study the corporate globalistic powers against our independent nation and freedom, education. It's all, it's either from one branch or it's from another branch. 
And there's only, there's only two branches, there's only two seeds of good and evil. One's of God, through Jesus Christ, and the other's of the devil, the admission of God and Jesus Christ. There's no other truth, no other way that mankind can be saved. And I close there in the holy, precious name of the Lord Jesus Christ.